mean, he, Booker Clark, he's the one who had that place up there where oh, the armory is. Yeah. Uh, Booker Clark and Lawrence Clark had Dalton. That was Lawrence Clark's okay. place. And Lawrence used to go to our church over here, Episcopal Church. He used to tell lies to my father, said I rang the bell and my father gave me the devil. <laughs> and, and I didn't do it, but he, he laughed like a dick. Well, anyhow, Tom Hunt uh, married a Hodges. Uh, uh, Addison Hodges' sister. And Tom's sister married this Garner Clark. I knew that she was real, a lot younger. She wasn't much older than me. I don't think, maybe four or five years, I guess. I don't I know she was pretty. And she used to come up the street with this pony cart with these kids in it, her kids. And they lived where on the They car? lived, Bill, Bill, uh, Bill, uh, used to be the cat, uh, Philby? Bill Filbert. He, I think he lives right there in that. Okay, that's at the bend of the road. Yeah, what do they call that? Uh, they got a name for that. Spring Hill. It was a part of Spring Hill. Spring Hill, Hill that's it. They own all the way out to Montgomery Road. Right. The Clarks owned Montgomery Road yeah. from there at that time. Well, you know, Wheatfield was a Clark that's, property. That, that's Eddie, Eddie Clark's father. Right, that was had the that. grandfather's yeah. place. And then the other, they were all, I guess. They're distant relatives. See, E.T. Clark, and I'm talking about not the one got grounded, his father I'm his talking father. about, uh -huh. and Jim Clark's father, father were, brother. were brothers. Brother. Jim's father and, and E.T. were brothers. Uh -huh. And then Booker Clark was the same family, but a different line. A different coming. line, that's right. They called him Cousin Booker. Uh, I used to hear Jimmy. They were bankers in Baltimore or something, weren't they? Booker Clark or Booker something? Clark went to a fortune. Yeah. He went to a fortune. He built that house out so, there. It burned it twice. It burned down once. Yeah. A great big house it was. He, I always understood that each one of them got five hundred thousand dollars. Because of his uncle. And because his old bachelor uncle died out in Texas or someplace. That's was what that, I've always was understood. Was that Mary Lewin Handwork's father? Was was she? Mary Lewin. Uh, Mary Lewin. Uh, Mary Lewin's father and I went to school together. Was Booker he from Jr. that family? At Booker Junior. Was her father? Her her father was Booker Junior. And that, that she only had, she was the only child they right. had. That he had. Right. And they, I think they divorced a long time before. Yeah, right. I don't know who she married afterwards. Now, I believe Griffith Clark is still living. He lives in Philadelphia. He was, uh, but he'd be about 85 if he was living. That would be a, another brother, brother. Of the family. And G.Y. and Otway, they all went to school when we did, but they were, G.Y. and Otway were behind us. They were all from me. the Booker Clark family. Booker Clark family. And Virginia Clark was Booker's daughter. And then there was a young one. I don't know what her name was. Um, when did Linwood start developing in here? Uh, Who was the developer? In the 50s. In the 50s? In the 50s, yeah. That's when most everything, like Wilton Acres yep. and... Um, well, it, oh, I was commissioner. We wouldn't have no planning or nothing. If I hadn't insisted on having a law down to Annapolis, past to Annapolis, so we could establish planning. Because Here's what happened. When I was elected, I knew. I remember uh, up on Cedar Lane, a man uh, named Kenneth. No, I forgot his last name. Mac, uh -huh. Mac something. Anyhow, he bought a farm up there, and he just took a bulldozer and run roads through dirt roads, and we made him give us a bond. Now that was the first time anybody ever had to put up a bond to for a road. We made him give us, not a bond, he gave us his dad going a personal note. Uh -huh. And he finished it selling the lots and skipped. And, and, were, and, and, right. and we never collected a penny. So that's when we got the law through uh -huh. that we could establish planning. Uh -huh. And so we appointed the planning commission, appointed the first planning commission, the first zoning commissioner. Jimmy McGill was our first zoning commissioner. Well, was uh, Mr. Wheeler the first planning commissioner? Or no, no, no. Gene, Gene uh, come in. Uh, in the 50s sometime, late 50s. I think it don't break easy. No, yeah, it's, it's, I've had it around a long time. Uh, who was your first planning? The first planning commissioner was, uh, let's see who we did for him. I think Jimmy McGill, we made him the first, I believe. He was, he was the uh, made zoning commissioner. And Mr. Wheeler was. Yeah, Wheeler came in later. He came in later. 
He came in the, uh, around 54 or 5. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to think who was the first. I, I, I know who it was, but what was his name? It from, we got him from Baltimore County. Uh, I can look back at the record. Uh, Tom Harris will know anyway. He knows oh, well, Tom Harris was appointed when oh, Gene Wheeler right. was in there, and Tom come in as an assistant. I see. That's what he did. Tom's I know that. been here ever since. Ever <laughs> since, yeah. What do you think of having a, a woman county executive? <laughs> I don't know what to think. I'm going to tell you the truth. So you'll wait and reserve judgment, right? That's right. I know one thing. She held up a 100 from being built a long time ago. Because when, oh, uh, and, and I know. I know that story. You that know the story. I know. That's too bad. I'll tell you what. The state bought the right away, and, and I went over there and told the people I was commissioned that that's what that open land was reserved for. Right. This, this is right here. This is it right here. I really uh, appreciated your enjoyment. Uh, if I can think of anything else, if you give me your name and uh, okay. your telephone number, I'll call you if I can. And I'd like to come and look at some of your old pictures sometime, uh, Mr. Marshall. When you have them together, can I do that? Do you uh, have any old family pictures? Or, oh, I've got old Like your parents pictures. or grandparents yeah. or any of them? Do yeah. you? Oh, yeah, I have some of those. Would you get them together and give me a call? I'll try to do that, but I'll be going way hunting. That's right. Well, is your wife around here?